What up everyone, it's Kirtan Singh and I'm back with a brand new video. Today I'm sharing my expectations and my theories coming in for Star Wars Episode 9. So I realized the trailer might be coming out real soon because we're already in July and the movie's only a few months away from release. So I was like, I better quickly jot down my ideas for what's coming in the movie and make a video about it. Nonetheless, I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, make sure you hit that like button and let's get started. I have predictions for episode 9 here on my phone. I'm going to run through each of them. With that all said and done though, clearly this movie isn't going to be for die-hard Star Wars fans. This movie is just going to be for the general viewer. Like The Force Awakens Wars, it's going to be really general, very basic. It's going to be an adventure film and it's not going to dive into so many little bit tidbits of the Star Wars lore and character which many people, many Star Wars fans which would love it to do. As we already know, set up from The Last Jedi, Kylo Ren is set up to be the next big bad guy. I think he will obviously die, while I would have believed he would have had a sympathetic arc, not a sympathetic arc, but a redemption arc early on in the trilogy. Clearly that's not the case thanks to The Last Jedi, but I think he will still die in a very sympathetic way. And that will lead the rise of Skywalker into having a very happy ending one where it's like return of the jedi where it's a very upbeat happy ending like sure there's more adventures to come but even though this is meant to be the definitive end of the saga i guess we'll end up seeing but it'll try to replicate that same feeling which the return of the jedi ending had and with that said and done i also think it's possible that disney may end up going the harry potter route so they'll end up having a time jump at the end of the movie I already know there's a year time jump between The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker, but I expect a time jump at the end of the movie showing either an academy rising up. Hopefully it wouldn't be like exactly like Harry Potter how all the main characters suddenly have kids. Not that there's a problem in Harry Potter, but in Star Wars it would be. So I hope there's, I don't hope, but I expect there to be a time jump showing an academy forming and that the um, peace has reigned at least for a good while in the Skywalker saga. This will also allow Disney to make films beyond, well beyond the Skywalker saga without being constrained by the events or recent time periods from the prequel trilogy all the way to the sequel trilogy. Moving on to returning character Lando Calrissian, he is one of my favorite characters, he's been for a while now and I really think he's going to have a small role. I think he's going to be like Leia in The Force Awakens, not doing much but simply being around, maybe giving some exposition and helping out here and there. But obviously, as we've been told, the movie will focus on the three main characters, Rey, Finn, and Poe. I also think that while Finn and Rose will still be in somewhat of a relationship, I think Lando's daughter, I can't remember her name right now, will actually have somewhat of a connection and maybe that'll create some sort of tension between Rose, Finn, and Lando's daughter. Once again, I can't remember her name, so forgive me if I'm getting it wrong, if I'm giving her the wrong title, whatever. Finally, I think there will be a huge lightsaber battle at the end. As we've seen the concept art for, it looks like it's going to be in the rain. But I think this is going to be more like the Duel of the Fates from Episode 1, The Phantom Menace, more so than the Battle of Heroes from Revenge of the Sith. I don't think it will have that emotional impact that the Battle of Heroes had, but I think it will try to have that spectacle, at least a proper former spectacle, unlike the Throne Room battle in The Last Jedi. It will have a good former spectacle like the Duel of the Fates in The Phantom Menace. Moving on to another returning character, I think the Emperor will play a very minor role in this film. I don't expect him to be the big bad, like I said earlier, Kylo Ren will be the big bad, but I think the Emperor will at least be some sort of... Uh, wall that the main characters have to pass or someone who gives some sort of advice countered to what Luke would give in a some sort of temptation to the heroes to really sway them on their quest. I don't think the Emperor will play much of a role with Kylo Ren as I think we already have that new sergeant or general whoever the character's name is who's going to be with General Hux and I think they're going to have their own sort of um, debacle going on with Kylo Ren. So I think if Kylo Ren actually does need to communicate with anyone with the Force, he's either going to somehow reach out to Snoke, or it's going to be Darth Vader as he did in The Force Awakens. Talking about minor roles, I'm saying that the Luke and the other Force ghosts won't have much of a role in the movie. Maybe they'll come around, deliver some exposition, maybe give some advice like they did in the original trilogy, but I definitely don't think they'll be that prominent in the movie itself. 
Along with that, I'm also going to say that General Hux will be taken more seriously, like he was in The Force Awakens, more so than The Last Jedi. He definitely won't be a ragdoll. <laughs> Speaking of villains, I don't think the Knights of Ren will play that big of a role in the film. I don't think there's much room for them per se, apart from being like a small group of bandits that just chase the um and uh, the protagonist, sorry, wherever they go, trying to capture them or beat them or whatever. But if they are students of Luke's uh, from the past, they really should have lightsabers. Finally, talking about Rey's parents, there will be some sort of reveal. Maybe we'll actually see who they are, but I don't think it will change that much. One, although we've heard rumors that the crew of Episode Nine, The Rise of Skywalker, didn't like The Last Jedi, I don't think they're going to do a lot to really um, rewrite what's been said and what's been told in The Last Jedi. They'll just look even worse for Disney, look even worse for Lucasfilm, and I think they're smart enough to at least stay away from doing that. As much as I would love it for it to change, I doubt that's going to happen. And that brings me to my final point. I feel like this movie will be some sort of road trip journey like film, where characters go from planet to planet to planet, and we really see these different locations. And on each of these locations, we either see a big emotional beat or we see um, some big set piece. Um, as we know, there's a new desert planet, it looks like there's a new forest planet. They go back to Endor by the looks of it, unless it crashed, the Death Star crashed on another moon, I guess we'll see. And obviously there's that planet where it's raining. Overall, those are my predictions for Star Wars Episode Nine: The Rise of Skywalker. If you're excited for the movie coming later this year, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you have any big theories that you wanna share with me, or anything that you hope happens in the movie, let me know down below there as well. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch y'all next time. See ya!